It was the movie Alien, or the trailer at least, that told us. In space, no one can hear you scream. And like me, you probably thought space is a vacuum. And since sound needs a medium to travel in, there cannot be any sound in space, right? Well, it turns out we were horribly wrong. Space isn't a true vacuum. And in fact, none of the vacuums that you've come across are true vacuums because nature abhors those. Space is filled with plasma. For instance, the seemingly empty space between the planets actually contains five protons for every square centimetre. Compared to the air around me, that is almost nothing. But it's not absolutely nothing. And it turns out even that almost nothing is enough for sound to exist, but with an extra magnetic component. Earth's magnetosphere is the region of space around the Earth that is dominated by Earth's magnetic field. The shape of Earth's magnetosphere and the speeds the waves can travel at at every point within it massively affect these sounds. It's very much akin to, say, a musical instrument. Back in the 90s, when I was probably listening to the Spice Girls and watching Friends, the idea was put forward that Earth's magnetosphere had a set of notes. The frequencies it liked to oscillate at. But the size of the magnetosphere varies depending on the solar wind, and this is not constant. It's always changing. And what I've been working on is trying to work out exactly how all of the different sounds in space should change in frequency depending on the changing conditions. All my work so far does seem to suggest that they should be incredibly variable but there's still more work to do to really prove this. But why should we care about sounds in space that are so weak they can't even move our eardrums and at frequencies we'd never be able to hear? Well, these sounds can give huge amounts of energy to the charged particles trapped in space. And if those particles hit one of our satellites, in extreme cases, they can kill them. I'm talking about things like GPS, mobile phone networks, weather forecasts, our power stations being affected. If that's not something to scream about, I don't know what is.